Namaste. Distinguished speakers, panelists, ladies and gentlemen, with great pleasure, I join you all at this India-Korea business forum. I'm glad that despite the inconveniences caused by COVID-19, we are continuing with our engagement to take forward our bilateral cooperation across all sectors. This forum couldn't have taken place at a better, better time than this, at the time when the economic recovery is the top policy priority of each and every country. It is important that the stakeholders in Korea-India bilateral relations are here to brainstorm on Korea-India economic cooperation. As you are aware, COVID-19 dealt a heavy blow to the economies of the world. However, out of crisis can emerge new and meaningful opportunities. There are increasing calls for major shifts in the global supply chain to avoid over-dependence on a single country. Companies are looking for alternative manufacturing bases, including India. Korean companies are taking part in this movement. The Korean businessmen are well reputed for their extraordinary dynamism and risk-taking appetite. Korean companies have had their share of success in the Indian market. Even amidst the pandemic, major compa uh, Korean companies like Samsung, Hyundai, and LG continue to have a strong share in the market. Kia Motors has recently entered in Indian market, but, it, but in a short time, it has emerged as the fourth largest car ma maker in the country. Kia also announced an additional investment of 54 million US dollar investment in its plant in Andhra Pradesh. The new investment is expected to increase its production capacity by another 150,000 units. SD Biosensor, a Korean biodiagnostic company, which has its plants in Haryana, is producing 700,000 test kits per day to meet India's growing demand for rapid testing kits, thus contributing to prevention and control of COVID-19 in India. Ladies and gentlemen, we are still in the middle of pandemic, which has created economic woes and barriers for the entire world. The trade volume between Korea and India has also been affected by COVID-19. However, we will eventually come out of the pandemic and emerge stronger. In Korea, there is a proverb. A real friend is the one who walks in when the rest of the world walks out. Korea is indeed a friend in need for India. We will make greater efforts to promote two-way investment and to this end, our trade and industry bodies like KITA, POTRA and ICC will play an important role. I would urge all the stakeholders in our bilateral relations to work together tirelessly to strengthen our bilateral ties for mutually beneficial partnership in the future. Thank you very much.